I'm thinking it would take me about 10 minutes, and I'd be hustling. Or would it take less than that? This is the most dressed up this guy has ever been in his entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like Eddie Munster's older right. drug-selling brother. Hey, this guy's already <laughs> missed. Yeah, this, like... the, the next guy's up to try to beat 58 seconds, and he's already missed. He doesn't get a penalty. He just That's going to make it tougher to beat 58 seconds. You know what we should do right now? Let's Change kick, the channel. <laughs> let's maybe, that's what listeners are doing. Let's kick people out of the Hockey Hall of Fame. Who deserves to be in the Hockey Hall of Fame? <laughs> and who deserves to be ridiculed? Give it that line, Billy. Good. It's time to call together the Hockey Hall of Fame Rejection Committee. I got no time for quitters. You want me to play, huh? I want you to be a hockey player. I am a hockey player. On WGR Sports Radio 550. That is the worst hair I've ever seen. If I'd had more license with yours, you'd be looking like oh, this, this guy. Oh, this guy's rocking a pretty serious mullet Holy right cow. Yeah. Melrose, Melrose-esque. Yeah. Worse. With the widow's peak and the yeah, the gel, that, hence the Eddie Munster reference earlier. Yes, yeah, that's not uh, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, you know what? You know what else isn't good? H- having to kick someone out of the Hockey Hall of Fame that that won the the Stanley Cup eleven times as a player. Are you sure? But, but that's what that's Gilbert Perro. That is where I'm going. The only individual to have his name on the Stanley Cup eleven times as a player. It says here, incredibly, he played on a Stanley Cup winner in more than half the seasons he played. I would tell you that there is no way in hell he was ever the best player on any one of those eleven Cup winning teams. Not to mention in his own house. R- right. Little brother to Maurice the Rocket Richard. The Pocket Rocket. You know, sorry, pal. They were brothers, weren't they? Yes, they were. Okay, yes. 15 Thanks. years apart. Double take there. Yeah, Henri Richard was 15 years younger than uh, than uh, the Rocket. But uh, You want to win this competition, you need to be the best guy in your family. you you got to not have a disclaimer <laughs> in front of your brother's nickname or, a, or an add-on to your brother's nickname. You're the Pocket Rocket? Forget it. Then you're, 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 you're the poor version of your brother, and your brother's going to be in longer than you, and he's not winning this thing either. Give me the Rocket Rocket. Yeah, at least for now. So Pocket Rocket, bye-bye. I don't want to throw his brother out now. Oh, that we will. Not going to win. We it. will. There will be knuckles flying when you throw the rock. Not this early. No, Just I'm don't. saying. I'm saying. I. I think he's going to. You seem to think that he had no chance yes, of you winning. Did say, it right there. Like, you did say. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't. Maybe mean, he will win. He I, better be last. Day I. I I'm. All, I'm fine. Good. I didn't mean to state it the way I did. I was a little fired up about the pocket rocket. Speaking of rockets, I'm throwing Roger Clemens out of the Hockey Hall of Fame. The steroid allegations are just too much for me to handle. I have a guy here named Jack Rattan. He was a... Hold on a second. He he played for the Armstrong's Point Hockey Team that won the Juvenile Championship of Winnipeg in 1906. He played for the St. John's College Team that won the Manitoba University Hockey League Championship in 1908. He won the Winnipeg Senior Hockey League Championship in 1910. Yeah, you can stop. <laughs> and he was—he eventually became an official, and then 40 years later went into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Give me a break. J- Jack Rattan, out, and it, he's been in long enough. So what we're saying here is that you think the rock, the Rocket is making the final. The, 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 you think he's I, he's one of the all. He is one. Of, he's one of my all time favorites. I just I didn't I didn't he'd be you know. I, I just when I think hockey and I think of errors he dominated for all his right. entire. All era, right, so there you go. Good. You Bill know, Bill, Bill, Bill Mojanko. You might know him. <laughs> uh, he's got one very important fact that everyone knows about him. Uh, and the more I learn about him, the less of a Hall of Fame candidate. What was he it? Is. The the. F- Fastest, fastest three goals in NHL Patrick. history. Well, he surpassed thirty goals just twice in his career. Uh, second team All Star twice. Those are his, uh, you know, big stats. That's his big. Uh, I guess that's how they build him up in his Hall of Fame bio. And of course, best known for scoring the fastest three goals in NHL history when he put three goals in in twenty one seconds back in nineteen twenty one. And you, you don't have tape of that, do you? Yeah. As it turns out, that record not Ooh. all it's cracked up to be. Greg, I've never heard tape of this. This. Achievement. I've always wanted to hear it myself. I've always wanted to hear what it. Yeah. And, and how did the guy score three goals in 21 seconds? Haven't you ever wondered that? Harry yeah. Neal mentioned him. A Saber had a hat trick this year. Vanek against Tampa. Right. And Harry Neal went into Bill Mojenko. Like, how, how did that happen? You're going to give us the a, Hockey Hall of Fame sent along tape. Wow. They have the three goals. Here we go. And after tonight, the Blackhawks will have another long road trip with four games outside of Chicago. Uh, uh, we're back to the action. Mojanko has the puck alone at the point. Mojanko fires a shot and scores. Black.
Blackhawks up by one, and Mazenko not even taking time out to celebrate. And here he is with the puck again, top of the faceoff circle, <laughs> rips a wrister, it's a goal. Mazenko again, unbelievable. He roofs the puck, two quick goals by Bill Mazenko. And Chicago enjoying a two-goal lead. And here's Mojenko again. He has the puck going in on net all alone. It's a goal. It's a hat trick. Bill Mojenko. That has to be the fastest three goals in NHL history. If I'm not mistaken, three, three, three goals in 21 seconds. And, and, oh, dear God. You know, I... That's embarrassing. I was looking down at my notes and, of course, didn't notice this. This is warm-up. I thought it was strange <laughs> that the fans weren't even really cheering and that the Rangers weren't even contesting Mojenko at all and that he was shooting on his own net. Mm. And there were 38 players on the ice at the same time. Oh, dear. Is my face red or what? Well, there you are. <laughs> Opening face-off coming up. So you see, it's not really that big of a record. I never knew that. Tape, yeah. He scored them on his own team. No one ever researches this 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 stuff except us. <laughs> except us. I like that little ending. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's red or what? I know. <laughs> Craig Buck. Craig Buck had such a great spirit in his... Oh. Is he retired or is he... <laughs> he's still out there working, Craig Buck? I don't even know for which station. <laughs> e, I believe. He's working for E. He's covering, Works the red carpet he's the covering speed pool on the ESPN Speed right pool, now. that's right. I With forgot. A flask in his pocket. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so here we are at speed pool. How did I end up here? What a long, strange trip. <laughs> <laughs>